In this video, we are going to discuss the three auxiliaries, the remaining three auxiliaries, they are do, does, did. Welcome back to this video. Really, do and does are used in simple present tense and did is used in simple past tense. Always students make mistake in these two auxiliaries do and does. We will discuss all the details of these three auxiliaries with a lot of examples in this video. You have to make a lot of practice and as well pause the videos in between practice and make a lot of sentences as you are on. So far we discussed 17 auxiliaries. There are remaining three auxiliaries. They are very very important. We are discussing in this video in the 18th 19th and 20th auxiliaries are does do did we will discuss in the video because they are very important in auxiliaries so look at does do did does do did only agree with v1 form of the verb how will be first we can discuss does does agrees with the verb that is v1. Cheyunu, pravartikunu, pogunu. We have, when we discussed irregular verbs in English, we have written two meanings for v1. Cheyunu, alengil cheyuga. Pogunu, alengil poguga. Padipikunu, alengil padikuga. Likewise, so you will get padikunu, cheyunu, pogunu. Ending in the meaning ane namuke desine ketuga. Does agrees only with third person singular subjects. Remember it? Does agrees only with third person singular subjects. You have to remember it. Does will be hidden in the V1 with, with a S or ES at last. That means goes, comes, visits likewise we can we can see a does what that s indicate in v1 that s indicates there is a does hidden in the in the verb so we have to split that verb into two you can we can see the we have to use we have to split the auxiliary from v1 that means he she it plus does plus v1 does verb in ullil olinji kidakkuga irikkum olinji irikkum we have to split does from the verb means that means does plus v1 does plus go that means goes dasum going kude chernu goes agunu goes inde ullil avide does undu does plus come that means comes we can split the auxiliaries from the sentences. You find out the auxiliary from these sentences. Example, he writes a letter. That means that writes means here does plus write becomes writes. Aven urukatte erudunno. She drives the car. That means that drives is does plus drive drives in the sentence. Aval car odikunno. It goes to the hole. That means goes. Des plus go becomes goes. So the man buys a pen. Des plus buy becomes buys in the sentence. Then James sends a message. James is third person singular. That means he. If we use a pronoun for the noun James, that we can use he. Here, third person singular. So James is also third person singular. Then we can use James sends a message. That means does plus send becomes sends. Likewise, we have to use does in the sentences. Do the practice. The train leaves tonight at 6 p.m. Leave plus does becomes leaves. The bus arrives at 11 p.m. Arrive plus does becomes arrives. So in arrives, there is a s at the end indicates does in the verb does does is the auxiliary in the verb because we can't we can understand it because it is a third person singular the bus is a third person 
third person singular subject the party starts at 8 o'clock so start plus does become starts john eats a piece of cake eat plus does becomes eats then so what is the in that eats does what is the in leaves does what is the in arise does what is the in starts does when we split the auxiliary from the v1 form of these kinds of sentences we again don't use starts as form that means if we have once split the auxiliary if if we have taken the auxiliary once then again we don't use does form repeatedly in the sentence so i we had learned how to make negative sentences from the positive sentence so you can if you want to change using does we can use we have to split the auxiliary if you want to make a question as well we have to split the auxiliary from these sentences that means we have to split does from the sentence look at this example if you want to change the sentences into negative form you have to use you how to split the auxiliary from the sentence how to does plus leave becomes leaves so we can see the does the train does not leave tonight at 6 pm when we change these sentences into negative we have to use not to that auxiliary that is does so the train does not leave tonight at 6 pm inne 6 maniki train porapedunnilla the bus arrives at 11 pm arrive plus does that is arrives negative the bus does not arrive at 11 pm if we have split the auxiliary then we don't use s along with v1 that is most important because we have already taken does we have taken the auxiliary does from the verb then again we do we don't use leaves again means the train does not leave it is not the train does not leaves tonight but the train does not leave second example the bus arrives at 11 pm that means arrive plus does becomes arrives when we split the auxiliary when we take the auxiliary from arrives that means the bus does not arrive at 11 pm then in the negative sentence we don't have used arrives but it is arrive only if we use arrives there that sentence is a mistake it is an incorrect sentence then the party starts at 8 o'clock start plus does become starts then the party does not start at 8 o'clock when we say also we have to keep it mind keep it in mind we don't use s or as at the end of v1 if we have split the auxiliary from that sentence john eats a piece of cake john does not eat a piece of cake then how will be the question the train leaves tonight at 6 pm sure leave plus does becomes leaves we have to split the auxiliary that is does then bring that auxiliary to the subject position as we discussed in questions does then subject the train then verb does the train leave tonight at 6 pm in the rathri 6 maniki train pura pedunno ennai chodyam the train leaves tonight at 6 pm train 6 maniki pura pedunno ennaanu adu pura pedunno ennu namukkaakam does the train leave tonight at 6 pm then again look at here we have split the auxiliary does from the leaves from the verb so we don't use again the s form in sentence that means we don't use leaves again then the bus arrives at 11 pm arrive plus does arrives does the bus arrive at 11 pm so we have to use in such a way the party starts at 8 o'clock does plus does plus start becomes starts so we have split the auxiliary then make questions does the party start at 8 o'clock then put a question mark at end then 
we don't have used does the party starts but we have used does the party start because we already have divided we already have taken the verb that is does from the verb then john eats a piece of cake eat plus does becomes eats the if we take the auxiliary does from the verb that is eats does john eat a piece of cake look at the sentence does then eat because we have already taken taken the auxiliary so we have to use eat not eats so you can write number of sentences like this you have to practice 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 use the correct form and split auxiliary in these practices sally dash drive her kids to football practice john sleep in his room he dash play tennis she always dash forget her purse he never take his wallet the postman dash bring a letter the girl dash read a novel how will be the correct form of the verb here we have to use we have to add does to this v1 form in the bracket then how will be the change either we we have to use s or es at the end that means we have to use does sally drives her kids to football practice so does is added to drive then that becomes drives john sleeps in his room does is added to sleep that becomes sleeps he plays tennis does is added to play that becomes plays then she always forget her purse she always forgets her purse does is added to forget then that becomes forgets he never take his wallet he never takes his wallet does is added to take that becomes takes that means that does what is the does the what is how it becomes takes does plus take becomes takes so the postman bring a letter the postman brings a letter so does plus bring becomes brings the girl read a novel the girl reads a novel so read plus does becomes reads so from these kind of sentences we have to split the auxiliary from the verb that is does if the subject is third person singular we can use does along with v1 form that is the most important point that you have to remember look at here she always forgets her purse she always does forget her purse how the change has given in the sentence look at here we can write these kind of sentences in this way we can split the auxiliary and directly use auxiliary in the she always does forget her purse means the same as she always forgets her purse how we have given separately does here to give an emphasis for that action to give an emphasis for the those action inganeyalla sentences gal namukku ഡെസ്സിനെ നമുക്ക് സ്പ്ലിറ്റ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആയിട്ടും യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം പക്ഷെ അങ്ങനെ യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യരുത് വി വണ്ണിൻ്റെ കൂടെ എസ് ഓർ ഇ എസ് ചേർക്കാൻ പാടില്ല കാരണം നമ്മൾ ഡെസ് ഓൾറെഡി അതിൽ നിന്ന് എടുത്തതിന് ശേഷമാണ് സബ്ജക്റ്റിൻ്റെ സബ്ജക്റ്റിന് ശേഷം വേബിന് മുൻപായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ നമ്മൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് സോ ഹി നവർ ടേക്സ് ഹിസ് വാലറ്റ് ഹൗ വി ക്യാൻ സ്പ്ലിറ്റ് ദ ഓക്സിലറി ഡസ് പ്ലസ് ടേക്ക് directly use it in the sentence he never does take his wallet means he he never takes his wallet or ikkelum edukunnilla that means that action is emphasized inganalla sentences gal nammal use cheynadu emphasis kodukkanan action oru oonal kodukkan vendittaan the postman brings a letter how this can be transformed as the postman does bring a letter so we can use does in such a way but always this does will be hidden in in the verb you have to remember it if we split the auxiliary from the v1 we can use in such a way we can if you want to make a negative sentence from these kinds of a sentence 
If you want to make negative sentences, you have to split the auxiliary. If you want to make a question as well, you have to split the auxiliary from the verb. And likewise, we can discuss do the auxiliary do. Do means same as does, cheyinu, pravartikunu. That also goes along with V1 form. Do plus V1. That means do plus go becomes go. Likewise. But do agrees with all plurals and I. That is most important. Does agrees with only third person subject. Third person singular subjects. But do agrees with along with I. The first person singular I. And all of the plurals. That means I. We, you, they, those, these, likewise. Ramesh and Suhail, India and Pakistan, likewise. So, there in the verb, do will be hidden. We cannot see. There is no indication as goes, likes, drinks, etc. So, there is no indication of S form in do. But there will be a do hidden in the verb. Do will be hidden in the verb and we have to split it from the verb. That means I, V, U, they, those used with along these verbs. Go plus do is go in sentence. That means come plus, come plus do is come there. That means in these kinds of sentences, if subjects are plural and I, and if you see these kind of sentence, there is a do hidden in the verb. That you have to remember. When we use do in the in a verb, when we use do in verb, there is no hint of s or es in the verb. From when we use do in verb, there is no hint of s or es in the verb, in the verb form. That means the verb is packed with do, not does. That means the verb is packed with do, not does. That means in the verb there is a do. We can see some examples. Split the auxiliary. I play cricket. Here in play, the subject is I. So that means do plus play becomes play here. Why here play is used? Because it is not does. The auxiliary is not does used there. Because the auxiliary is do. So that Play means do plus play. Then we go to Calicut. That go is do plus go. That is go. So you read a novel. That means do plus read becomes read in the sentence. That in the verb read there, there is an auxiliary that is do. They buy a flat. That buy is along with do in the sentence. So do plus buy becomes buy. Cats like milk. Cats are plural. So we use like. If the sentence was the cat, the verb will be likes. The cat likes milk. Here do plus like. Birds fly in the sky. Birds Here birds are used as plural. So fly is used. That fly is do plus fly. Do plus V1, that is do plus fly, that is fly. Children speak English. Here, children used as plural. So, in speak, you can see a do hidden it. We have to split it. That means do plus speak. Apo namukki des in the bar in the auxiliary anangil. Des V1 in the ulil olinji gadakum. Adhuanda then ne olinji gadakum the gunde. Abadari SO alangil ES form of undaikum. Pakshe, do in the body in the auxiliary case at Kumbol, Adi usage unade, I, V, U, they, those in the body in the plural in deum, first person I, I, you deum, Koda Matraman. Pakshe, Angan of V Kumbolum, V one in the Ulil, do all in the Kadakundi, Namal Adarayunilla, Karanam out S form Allah. Do another in the Ulil, other Gunde, do plus play becomes play. So we have to split the auxiliary from the V1, from the verb, then we can use it in various types. We have to split the auxiliary. Pause the video, read the sentence. I do play cricket. We do go to Calicut. You do read a novel. 
they do buy a flat cats do like milk birds do fly in the sky children do speak english the sentences we have discussed in do how i play cricket means do plus play that is play the that means i do play cricket i do play cricket and i play cricket are same in meaning nan cricket kalikunu i do play cricket means nan cricket kalikunu i play cricket means nan cricket kalikunu there is no change in meaning but do has the action has been given some emphasis so i do play cricket we go to calicut that means do plus go is go the so that means we do go to calicut you read a novel read here do plus read is read in the sentence so we can split it and use it in separately to give emphasis you do read a novel ni oru novel vaikuga allengil vaikunu then they buy a flat that buy means do plus buy so they do buy a flat cats like milk do plus like is there in the sentence so cats do like milk and cats like milk are same in meaning there is no problem using it we have to split the auxiliary that means do from the sentence from the verb and use it for use it in negative sentences you to use to make questions as well and use use the auxiliary to give emphasis birds fly in the sky do plus fly is equal that becomes fly in the sentence so birds do fly in the sky that both are same in meaning children speak english that means do plus speak becomes speak in the sentence so children do speak english same in meaning no problem then then next did plus v1 did goes with v1 only did can be used with any subjects there is no criteria of whether it is singular or plural there is no problem did can be used with all of the subjects in english but it will go only v1 when did goes with v1 that becomes v2 form so here means that v2 form in v2 form there is a did hidden in the verb how cheydu pravartichu nan kalichu nan vannu ഞാൻ എഴുതി ഞാൻ വായിച്ചു ഞാൻ ഉറങ്ങി എന്നിങ്ങനെയുള്ള മീനിങ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് ഡിഡിന് കിട്ടുക സോ ഡിഡ് അഗ്രീസ് വിത്ത് ഓൾ ദി സബ്ജക്ട്സ് ഐ വി യു ഹി ഷി ഇറ്റ് ദി ദോസ് ദീസ് രമേശ് രമേശ് ആൻഡ് രാഹുൽ രാഹുൽ ആൻഡ് സുഹേൽ സുഹേൽ ലൈക്ക് വൈസ് ദെൻ ഡിഡ് പ്ലസ് വി വൺ സോ ഡിഡ് പ്ലസ് റൈറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് റോഡ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വി ടു ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ഇൻ വി ടു ദർ ഈസ് എ ഡിഡ് ഹിഡൺ ഇൻ ദ വി ടു so you look at the did plus go becomes went did plus come becomes came so in came there is a did if we split the auxiliary we will take did and we we have to use then v1 then did plus right becomes wrote if we split them did plus right that means did plus v1 so not did plus v2 never comes anywhere in english sentences but did plus v1 becomes v2 we have learned irregular verbs in english in v2 that v2 are packed with did i played cricket in the sentence played is used along with did that means did play did plus play becomes played so did is hidden in played we bought a bike there did plus buy is bought so you passed the exam did plus pass is passed in passed there is a auxiliary that is did we have to split it he went to school that means did plus go becomes went she she wrote a letter did plus did plus write becomes wrote in the sentence so there is a did in wrote 
we have to take that did from that rod and split it then they salt a mobile did plus sell become salt in the sentence so the man came from the office did plus come becomes came so in v2 form there is a did there is an auxiliary hidden in the v2 that is did remember likewise and did can be used along with all of the subjects nyan vaangi nyan kalichu nyan cheydu enningane upayogikkunnadinaanu nammal did use cheynadu really this is the simple past tense we will discuss simple past tense in the coming videos look at here i played cricket means did plus play how can be written this as well this can be written i did play cricket emphasis giving emphasis for that sentence that is also correct how to make that sentence into a negative i didn't play cricket nan cricket kalichittilla nan cricket kalichilla then we bought a bike by plus did becomes bought we did buy a bike means same as we bought a bike you pass you passed the exam you did pass the exam and you passed the exam are same in meaning in one sentence in the right side of the box that did is taken from the auxiliary and used separately in the sentence to give emphasis but in the left side box you can see that there is a v2 did is used along with the v1 thus it becomes v2 that is passed he went to school did plus go becomes did plus go becomes went so he did go to school avan school ilekku poi then she wrote a letter how wrote becomes here did plus write becomes wrote here she did write a letter if we have taken did from the sentences we don't again use v to form that is most important if we have used once did in the sentence then we have to use v1 form if we never split the auxiliary then we have to use v2 form like she wrote a letter that becomes she did write a letter they did sell a mobile where we have split the auxiliary did and used it separately in the sentence so we have used sell that means v1 in the sentence in the sentence the man came from the office that means did plus come is came in the sentence so when we split the auxiliary did plus come so that is used separately in the sentence the man did come from the office that the man did come from the office and the man came from the office the sentence both sentences are same in, same in meaning adeham office il ninnum vannu likewise look at the examples the boy attacked his friend how will be the boy attacked in attacked you can see the that is v2 form in v2 form did is used along with v1 did plus attack becomes attacked in the sentence then second sentence the girl danced on the stage penguti vedil nirtham cheydu did plus dance becomes dance the child rode the bicycle that means did plus ride becomes rode here in the sentence look at the sentences did plus attack becomes attacked did plus dance becomes danced did plus ride becomes rode in the sentence this can be written in the boy did attack his friend the girl did dance on the stage the child did ride the bicycle students wrote the exam very well boys fought in the street rajesh and james parked together suhail sent a letter to his father how will be the answer students wrote the exam well did plus write here becomes wrote then how to change this into negative sentence we have to split the auxiliary that is did from the v to form then use it separately and add not along with did and use the v1 form students did not 
then look at look at the verb that is only right there not v2 form we have separated the auxiliary from the v2 form that is rot then use it independently in the sentence that is did then add it not along with it, it students did not write the exam very well so subject did plus not plus v1 that is right plus the object the exam well then boys fought in the street that means did plus fight is fought the so how to change into negative boys did not fight in the street vidyarthigal therivil adipidi kudiyilla rajesh and jain spoke together did plus speak becomes spoke rajesh and jains did not speak not spoke because did is already used in the sentence separately so we have to use v1 form suhail sent a letter to his father did plus sent becomes sent in the sentence so how to change into negative suhail didn't or did not sent a letter to his father suhail avande അച്ഛന് ഒരു കത്ത് അയച്ചില്ല ദൻ ഹൗ ടു ചേഞ്ച് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് ഡിറ്റ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് റോഡ് ദി എക്സാം വെൽ ഡിറ്റ് പ്ലസ് റൈറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് റോട്ട് വി ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ഡിറ്റ് ടേക്ക് ദ ഓക്സിലറി ഡിറ്റ് ഫ്രം റോട്ട് ഡിറ്റ് ദൻ യു സബ്ജെക്ട് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ദി എക്സാം വെൽ ഡിറ്റ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ദി എക്സാം വെൽ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ പരീക്ഷ നന്നായി എഴുതിയോ എന്താണ് ഡിഡ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ പോസിറ്റീവ് അർത്ഥം സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് റോഡ് ദി എക്സാം വെൽ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ പരീക്ഷ നന്നായി എഴുതി യു റിമെമ്പർ ദ മീനിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ഇറഗുലർ വി ടു ഫോം ബോയ്സ് ഫൗട്ട് ഇൻ ദ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ഡിഡ് പ്ലസ് ഫൈറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് ഫൗട്ട് ഡിഡ് ബോയ്സ് ഫൈറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഡിഡ് പ്ലസ് വി വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈറ്റ് നോട്ട് വി ടു റിമെമ്പർ ഇറ്റ് രാജേഷ് ആൻഡ് ജെയിംസ് പോക്ക് ടുഗേദർ did plus speak becomes spoke so did rajesh and james speak together so hail sent a letter to his father take the auxiliary did from sent did so hail sent a letter to his father so hail avante achan so hail avante achane oru kath ayacho likewise you can make a lot of sentences like this you can practice it you have to make a lot of sentences like this practice it and split the auxiliary change into negative change make questions as well thanks for watching